Hi, I'm Dr. Rhonda Lowe and welcome to Your Medical Pipeline. In this segment, we're going to talk about what it means to have an abnormal pap smear. Pap smears are the single most important tool in screening for cancer of the cervix. But having an abnormal result doesn't mean you have the disease. In fact, the test has been extremely effective in helping to save lives because it detects abnormal cells long before they turn into cancer. The death rate from the disease has decreased by more than 70% since the pap smear was introduced 60 years ago. Now, of all the women in Canada who have a pap test each year, about 8% will have an abnormal result that requires further evaluation. An abnormal result can indicate a number of changes on your cervix that are not uncommon because these cells are constantly undergoing change. Having said that, your chance for having an abnormal pap smear increases if you've been infected with the human papillomavirus or HPV, which is a sexually transmitted infection and also a known cause of cervical cancer. We now know that 70% of this cancer is caused by just two strains of the human papillomavirus. There are no symptoms, and that's why getting regular pap tests is key. Now, other types of infection, such as a yeast or bacteria infection, can also cause some minor changes, which will resolve with treatment. Hormonal changes, such as those that occur during pregnancy or menopause, can also cause minor changes. Smoking, being on the birth control pill, or having an impaired immune system can also cause cervical cell changes. So when you finally get the results, abnormal cells are classified according to their degree of abnormality. So they're usually classified into mild, moderate, or severely abnormal changes. And the degree then will dictate the type of treatment you'll have. First of all, don't panic. Only a small percentage of abnormal results indicate changes that may progress to cervical cancer. But it is important that you have further evaluation because we know that about 40% of women with untreated moderate to severely abnormal cells will go on to have invasive cancer 10 years down the road. Now further evaluations that you may have include just having a repeat pap test in a few months if you have minor changes or for more significant changes, you may need a colposcopy, which is looking at the cervix with a lighted magnifying scope. Possibly you might even have a biopsy. Then, simple treatments can destroy the abnormal cells to let normal ones grow back again. After that, regular follow-up is key. Now, this is all to nip trouble in the bud before things progress to something more worrisome. You should start having pap smears from age 18 or when you first become sexually active, and then you should have them annually. If you're monogamous and have had three normal results, then you can go two years between smears up to the age of 69. Now for the best test result, the best time to have a pap smear is in the middle of your monthly cycle. My comments are for information only and should not be used to replace a visit or the advice of your physician or other healthcare providers.